Ready, and go. Okay. Ready, go. Okay, right, so let's have a. Okay, so pretty good. Hips are touch open, nothing major. Upper body's very good. One degree off, not worry about that. 37 hip turn, very good. A little bit lateral in your hips. So. <laughs> that's, uh, I can see where Stephen gets it from. It's just a little bit. Okay. Um, hip and shoulder turn absolutely majestic. Uh, 29 hip clearance, so just a fraction off there. Same with the shoulders, just a fraction off there. Pelvis movement during the swing is very good. Holding your bottom in a great position at impact. Um, and then just a little bit, because you've got a little bit of a slide off in the hips, top of the back swing, the chest is a little bit up, so you've just got a little bit of reverse, reversing movement there. But all in all, great. Hips firing first, great peak, good peak, releasing the club a little bit early, so on impact you're just slowing the club down a bit. But KVS says, yeah, when are you turning pro? Impact's looking better. Yep. Yeah. So, all in all, in the few weeks that you know I haven't seen you, you haven't actually, um, I would say, you haven't regressed in, in any way. It's just that we haven't quite got. Can we just see that set? Can yes. See if that's that's, that's a bit more. No, uh, the, the set is more, but now it needs to be continuous. So without the actual pause now. So yeah, I agree. I think you've actually practiced that that well that you've got it, but now you need to make it into a flowing movement. So I agree there. So what we're going to do this morning, based on what we've seen there, is the legs. Uh, can you just draw your little box there? Because I feel uh, that the legs moving a little bit laterally. But not on the right. back swing. Yeah. If you just. Uh, yeah. Here. Through swing. On the through swing. Yeah, if you do your little box. Okay. It's still bowing, isn't it? it is, but let me let me help you with that today. Because it's not, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. What we need to concentrate on the knee, with the knee, is keeping the knee facing forward. So if there was a stick coming out of it, when your knee works, it needs to go much more in this manner. You've got a little bit too much rotation. So it's not an actual fact that you're, you're bowing, it's the fact that there's too much twist. And if there's twist on your left knee, it's going to more often not make you pull it left. So your kneecap there is just bowing. See it's twisting round? Well that shouldn't be happening. The kneecap should be facing us. It should be in line with your toe. So that's quite easy to cure. You still seem to get, always come back to this knee. Well, I suppose we, we've all got our Achilles heel, I suppose. Um, so these are top, uh, soft swings. So. 80, 87 and a half mile an hour club head speed. Attack angle good. Club face just a tag closed. Great loft on the club at impact. Uh, good launch angle. Good spin. That's the nice thing with these balls being 100% compression. We, we've got exact numbers now, so we don't need to faff around with that. Great landing angle. Yeah, that's one thing I don't So, I mean, <laughs> you know, when you look at the comparison data here, you've got the six sign on the tour. Um, obviously, you're just warming up, so we just need to add a bit there. Launch angle's a little bit high, by five degrees, but again, that's because your hands are a little bit behind. Spin's practically the same, which is good. 
uh, landing angle 49, 50. Yeah. So, today's going to be a great lesson for you. I need something to get me back into the two disasters. That's, uh, that's going to be pretty easy to do. Right, so, if you, um, if you make your address position. Okay, now, right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to swing the club back and stop, and you're going to just do it in one flowing motion this time. Okay, so the knee there, that's gone slightly forward, and that's fine. Now, when you swing the club down, okay, start swinging down. Great. That's it, and now go through. Great. So, that kneecap must stay facing forward. If you can now follow right through. There. Okay, so there is rotation in the knee there, but yours goes kind of just where it wants to go. So, so what I want you to do this time is the same, but if you start by just twisting your left toe in at a dress. So if you say, oh, okay, twist that left toe completely in. Okay, that's it, a little bit more. Great, okay. Now if you just swing back. Good, and now swing slowly through. Just miss it, that's it, just there, and go right through. <laughs> you see? There. So toe in exercise is going to make you suddenly feel that this leg stays back. Mm -hmm. And then just with the sort of a, a, what could be a good pre-shot routine? You think this test is a good pre-shot routine? I think as a waggle, great. And then when it goes into the action, yeah. Maybe one. Yep. Maybe one before. Yep. One. One before would be good. Would be good. Maybe one before. Yep. That's it. That's good. Now, I just want you to really bolt that leg solid. Okay. That's great. Okay, look at this. That's a bit, that's a bit different, isn't it? And it's interesting, isn't it? Looking at your left foot there, you wouldn't think you've towed it in, would you? Yeah. You'll be able to hit into the ball more now. You'll feel like you've got a wall to go into. And there's no movement on that leg at all. <laughs> no. If there was, you'd be on the floor now and I'd be calling the paramedics. Right. Okay. So I want you to now do the swing without the without the pause on the wrist. I want you to set the wrist, but don't pause. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh yes. Andrew's back. Yeah, I love the look of this. Back swings looks great. Yeah. Solid leg for the hands. Fabulous. Dynamic. 28 hip turn. God. Look at Mr. Rubbery there. What a separation that is. Cleared a lot better as well. Fabulous. Great. Faster hips, much faster hips. Hips peaking well before, and look at the impact improvement there. Superb. That looks stunning there. That, when you look at that, uh, look how solid that balance looks on the finish. And that was even with a little bit of hip slide there. Not much. Look how solid that is. So your left toe doesn't look severely pointed in, does it? That's interesting. I can appreciate that feels like it's like that, and yet looking at it, it looks straight, doesn't it? Mm. I probably could set it a little bit more, couldn't I? No, I think that looks really natural now. You could probably set it a bit more at the top. Look how strong that finish is there. No, not too much movement, is it? 
No. Any movement that there is now is just to bring your body weight back onto your onto your left side, which is interesting. Yeah, look at the leg. Look how solid it is there. And would that be the same with a with a longer clubs as well? Yes it would, yeah. Driver, the whole the whole spectrum. Well done. Definitely. Well, what I would do is I'd set yourself up straight and then toe it in. Great. Okay. Ready? Go. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. Straight to finish though. Got to try and not move that left knee quite so much on the back swing. So I want you to try and really focus on keeping the left knee over your left foot. So it just comes in the air, see there? Is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, minus 17. Is that the sort of Stevens hip slide on his backswing? And then we got it down to minus 5. 35.85, so it's very good. What does it mean with a pelvis upper turn? What's it saying there? Pelvis, uh, an upper body turn, this one. Okay, it just basically means how much you've cleared your hips and your shoulders at impact. So you haven't quite spun the hips around enough you haven't spun the, normally you do you know I think though that's going to be yes it's just a busy left leg on the back so that's why we see a little bit more there yeah so let's just work on that uh, that left leg that left knee so okay I'll just toe that foot in a bit more that's it or probably better if you just bring it back again Move your left heel out. So move the heel out as opposed to that's it, that's better, that might that looks good. Okay. Ready? Go. Do you feel a wall? Do you feel like you're heading into a no, solid I felt I lost it right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Unfortunately, Andrew, yeah, it's it's the you know a, a nag well and if I don't do it I overhook it and then that's when I get handsy and then I look at it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I went hard at you over last year's winter period, then through the main season I said, Yeah, yeah that's good, just to get you playing. Now winter two Costing you. Okay. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so you, you hit this one whenever you're ready. Don't worry about me. I'm well away. Uh, that's good. Let's try another. Okay, on the back swing, I want you to try and try not let your. I don't even see my hand in your. Okay, but on the back swing, try and avoid letting it hit my hand. That's good. That's good. Full strike doesn't matter. Great. Okay, let's try try it again and I'll record it and I'll have a look. Okay. 
，例如咁啦，外景。Okay, so don't touch my hand on your back swing with your knee. Okay. That's a lot better. You look much more posted on that left side. Looks more compact. Doesn't it? Looks like you struggle a little bit more to get that right foot round. So it shows that to move the right foot, it sort of encourages the left leg to to bow. So it's a very, very tight sort of boxed in movement that we need to get. But terrific left leg. You can do it. It's not like it's a physical impossibility. See on the back swing, that's an acceptable amount of left knee movement there. You're back to the ball so much faster, more compact looking. Now we just need to get this working around as well. Great. Right, so up onto your right toe on this one. Twist that right foot, right foot, twist, 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 twist. twist. And then up onto the toe. Lovely. It's fine. Look at the hips swivel there. And that left knee worked backwards, didn't it? There. Mm. Now you can see suddenly everything's going forward. Not falling back. No. Completely, yeah. It'll stop the vertical launch from being too, too steep. Okay, right. So let's soon get that foot really, really round on this one. So try and watch the knee on the back swing. Round with the foot. Supercharged, quick, back to the ball, much better. You can see it, much more rotational now. Now the right foot, go on right foot, there we go. Just got it a little bit at the end there. That's great, isn't it? Much better. Well, how would you describe that? I still feel that, that I can't take the club back far enough, but that's because I think I'm not hinging. Mm -hmm. And what about all this happening? What, does that feel doable? Yeah, it does. It yeah. does feel, obviously, you standing behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, big finish as well. Round. Good. Great. Came in a fraction. Yeah, yeah, that's good there. Great, great impact. Now watch the leg. See, it, it, it spins back now. Can you see that? Just play that through. Yeah. So, that's interesting. More club at speed from what looks less, and the attack angle's minus two now, and it was zero. Vertical launch is about the same, but the spin's gone up, so because you're hitting down, generating more spin. That's good, so we just need to get that vertical launch a bit lower. Are the hands in front of the Not quite enough, not quite enough. They will, I think, when you can sort of just but to get the hands in front, it's a case of remembering not to slide. So isn't that, it's a different move, isn't it? Because it's still got the same movement back to the left side, like we see 
in a second. So we see that movement across there, across, but then it doesn't then bow out. You see, it now locks back. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's your axis. Fabulous. Right, so let's try it without me this time. Yeah. Yeah, no use for a caddy. Okay. Ready and go. Yeah, got it. It's nice. It's better though, wouldn't it? A lot back, a lot, a lot better. Coming up on it, uh, possibly, but I've seen it a lot worse. Eighteen point eight. So you drop the launch down a fraction, which is good. What's going on there? Hips a little bit open. Wow, twenty. Uh, yeah, a little bit hunched over the ball. Good hip and shoulder turn, but look. 31 degrees of hip clearance. That was only 24, 26. And 20 degrees of uh, shoulder rotation and impact. That's in brute. You just stooped a bit over the ball then. Not to rotate my shoulders. Try not to sweep my arms. Sure. Yeah, this has all got to be orientated towards the... Uh, Better. Okay. Right. Ready. Go. Great. So to get past the ball, to get on top of the ball, we've got to do it through the upper body and not the... Yep. And that's the importance of this left leg. Oh, that's better. So now you're locking it there. That's a lot better. The upper body looks behind there, though, simply because, again, of that jiggy... Yeah, well, yeah, and you're leaving it as well. See, there's just a little bit of a... Not a buckling. I just want that to stay a bit more over it. Okay. It just feels that you... Back to well, it's, yeah, I think you're right. I think it gives you the sense of being a lot more restricted. Okay, right. Okay. That's, that's, that's the one I, I like weird. Weird is usually the good ones, you see. There we go. That's why it's tough to make changes, isn't it? Because when you do it properly, it just feels... But look how much more... All it did is it sort of restricted your hips rotating coming down, but... That's, that's the right position, but then you need to get the activity in the right side. And of course not. No. brightness of that screen of fraction. Great morning suns. Right. Okay. Same again and think of the hips. Oh. Impressive. Oh. Hey. We'd take that as a swing, wouldn't we? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Let's play that one back at real speed. That was terrific. Um, okay. Let's close this down. It's just getting that feeling, that woodenness, isn't it? I think that's the, uh, okay. It's 
almost what we want, isn't it? That's everything. Look at the simplicity in the hip turn. Bang! No wasted, is there? Nick Price there, isn't there? Mm. I can see Nick Price in that. That highly talked, rigid, very... Uh, that, that looks more like you. It's like you're trying to be, like you say, Jack Nicholas when you're a Nick Price. I think that's probably more closer to what I should be speaking. Well, I think more explosion then to the yeah, 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 glidey. You, you, you're you're a, you're a hitter. You're not a swinger. You see. I'm a swinger because I, you know, I'm, I haven't got your power, so I have to have lots of hands. Whereas you're a hitter, you're more, like I say, Nick Price sort of. And I, you know, if I had a choice out of the two, I'd rather be a hitter than a swinger, definitely. You know, I just. Yeah, and I think more of the best hitters of the ball on tour now are looking more like hitters. They're looking much more explosive, much more powerful. Wow. That's what we need. Yeah. That's what we need. That's the one I want you to sort of have passion with. <laughs> See, the other ones were all, as you said, were all like loopy. Yeah. I mean, that looks very explosive. Eighty-six and a half, you see, and that look that was you all incredibly sort of restricted. Great, great spin. Yeah, that's very, very good. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll just set everything up. Okay. So the effort at the moment, for me, is, is in that backswing, not to allow that left leg to relax inwards. But I like that because you look over the ball, don't you? You don't look back here, going. And, and look how much straighter it is now as well. Look how you look more over the ball, you see. That's another thing that's different there. Right. So, how much the hinging, do you think the hinging can sort of be unlimited really? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that you, you know, the more you load that up, the more, you know, the, it, the further it goes. No question of that. Yeah, God, it looks tidy there, doesn't it? That looks so tidy. I don't really mind those two motions. The, the no, at, the, at this stage in time. You know, people say, how oh, you put your off your rhythm, it doesn't, because I hear you If you're used to it. Oh, look at that left leg going back net. Look, see, it goes back behind you, clears. Terrific. I think it's better than that one because that one is a bit of tip back, isn't there? So it looks very nice, though. Yeah, it's got to go in. Oh, from there, it didn't bow back out, but you see, it does look a bit of a jelly leg, doesn't it? It's like someone's kicked you in the side and you just. 
It, it, it does indeed. Yeah. 